everybody it's Debbie here and welcome back to my crafty den um, my lighting's a little bit off today because I have it's bright outside but I don't know if I've mentioned before my craft room is at the back of the house and our house is nestled right in the trees um, we have a forest backing us and the light comes up on this side so the sun is coming up and it's coming through my window and it is dappling everything there so I just readjusted my camera and put my flash on um, to stay on during my recording my light so um, I'm hoping that that helps a little bit. So I have a Dollarama haul um, and uh, it's um, quite large actually. I don't, I'm not sure where to begin. I guess I'll begin with this bag because I think this bag is all the food. I think we put it all in, all the food and kitchen items. I think I got in one bag. So to start off, I grabbed Two of these for drinks. I grabbed two of the Ocean Spray Cranberry Cocktail. Does anybody else, um, like, are, is anybody else just astounded by how many name brand items now are at the, um, so it's actually Ocean Spray. And it is the 739 milliliters. Now this will give me about three glasses um, of the size glasses that I drink. And I grabbed a brisk um, one liter iced tea. And I believe this was $1.25, the brisk. And I think that these were a dollar a piece. Um, so that's actually a really good deal. I also got some of these um, restaurant, stri restaurant style croutons um, made by Gristle. This is the same brand that I buy at the grocery store. And uh, it's, they're really good. Um, I think it's the same sized bag and uh, yeah, so I think most of the food items that I bought, well, I'm, yeah, they're from Dollarama, so it's not a dollar and a quarter, and I, I haven't come across my receipt yet. Um, I'll check, and when I find the receipt, it's got to be in one of these bags, and I'll give you a rundown on the prices of the food items, but I got that. I grabbed some of these Kerr's toffees. I usually keep these in a little um, container with a lid on my coffee table and they last quite some time. Um, it's not something, my husband doesn't eat a lot of, of candy, but when he does he likes the toffee caramel type candies. So I got that and I got a bag of the Kraft caramels, the original caramels. It does just a question. Does anybody say caramel or caramel? I think it's caramel because like why would that extra A be in there if it's not? I grabbed some gravy mixes. These are the French's gravy mixes. Um, two browns. Put it right side up for you. That'll help. So two of the browns ready in five minutes. These are just for when we have quick something to eat and uh, two of the chicken so once in a blue moon we'll have hot chicken or hot um, hot beef sandwich as a leftover dinner and uh, and that makes a quick gravy mix for a hot sandwich but I bought the Unico sliced olives the black olives um, yeah this is a lot cheaper than the grocery store and this is the small can, 200 mils. So it's about uh, half the size of the can that you get in the grocery store. And what I find is I open a can and I'll put them in a jar. They get put into the back of the cupboard and they don't get eaten. So it gets wasted and I hate that. So I grabbed four cans. Because you never know, sometimes they run out of the sliced ones and then you have to get your um, 
you have to get your whole olives and you have to pit them and and cut them up yourself and I don't I'm not into that so I grabbed four so I'd have them to last for a while now I grabbed this was in the um in the kitchen section so that was all the food items I grabbed these um, Betty Crocker mini tongs um these are great for serving food for for all kinds of things and they've got the little silicone ends on them so and they're nice bright red and i've got a lot of the betty crocker stuff in my kitchen so i got those and they were four dollars but they're still a good make and i bought i think these were four dollars as well um there's no price on them. They're the Homemaker brand. They're bamboo, five pieces, and they're my kitchen, my wooden spoons, spatulas, what have you. And these have the colorful, um, they have the colorful ends on them, They're like the silicone handles on the ends. But I have a set of bamboo ones for my kitchen, but I don't have a set for the camper. And these were three fifty, I believe, maybe four dollars. They might have been four dollars, but I, for some reason, I think they were three fifty. And I think they'd be really bright and colorful for the camper. And I'm at that time of the year where I'm looking for some camper stuff. So that's all the food stuff. And I am going to insert uh, a little clip here. Of so the, I bought this little um, cat toy cat. and it was $3 and 50 cents and she loves it. Absolutely loves it. She's been playing with it nonstop. That's absolutely the the best three dollars and fifty cents that I have spent. Yeah, I'm sure of it. Um, so I got a few other cat items. I got the two dollars and fifty cents for the flea and tick collar for cats. It's that time of the year, of course, and um, her old ones run out. And this says it kills fleas and ticks. Fleas for five months and ticks for four months. Now this was $2 and 50 cents and I pay a whole lot more for that, for this at the pet store. And it's hearts. It's not like it's not a, a, a name brand. So yeah, that. And, um, I have two kitties and then when they come out of the litter box they leave litter on the floor so for two dollars I got this if I can back it up far enough it's the shape of a big paw and it is kind of, of a rubbery material that has all it has all of this see how it's all woven and it's for catching litter when they get out of the litter box and I'm going to put that in front of their litter box and see if that helps with some of the mess and of course with this hot spell that we've been having um three dollars and fifty cents and I bought this it's a double-sided grooming mitt and this is what it looks like now it has I have to get it open take this thing out and pull it apart so it opens up right here it is that's really good duct tape holy um so you just put your hand inside of it flat there's no fingers or anything like that you just put your hand in flat and this has you know those brushes for brushing your furniture it kind of goes one way smooth and then the other way like that and this side and it's kind of like these little silicone nubbies. Yeah, two cats, lots of fur. They both love to be petted. So why not do two jobs in one? They both just love being groomed. So I'm going to clear this up and I will come back with the rest of the haul. Okay, so I have a few, um, uh, not larger, but large-ish items. So I got four of these. Um, they have wheels on the bottom and they're a, 
so you can put them in the house, set them down. You can put them on a table or you could put them on the floor, depending on the size of your pot. And they don't roll all over the place. Well, they just roll kind of in and out. The wheels all go the same way. So you could pull them straight out to vacuum underneath them or uh, dust under them, which is kind of handy if your plants are a little bit on the heavy side. And these were $2 a piece and I got four of them. And I think they'll work great inside or outside. So I'm going to put that down there. And you've seen me haul these before, the Lazy Susans, um, $4 each. Now I have two of these already on my desk and I use them for organizing some of my craft supplies. And I got two more. And for the same thing, I just need to do an update of my organization on my desk because it's just getting out of hand sometimes. So I got those and I got, I got this white board, all this white board and, and white corner that you're seeing. Um, I just thought it might help with my hauls to, um, to be able to brighten them up so that you can see the objects better. And um, so what I got was these craft, see the craft, the kids crafting. This is a 36, see 36 by 28 inch sheets. Um, they have, I'm going to lift the corner of this up so that you can see it. They actually have a number grid. I haven't stuck it down yet, but they actually have a number grid that goes up all four sides or um, inches, which is really cool for just for a quick kind of almost measure. Um, so there's two in each pack. I bought two packs. I believe they were $2 a piece. Um, and I didn't get them in the craft section. I got them in the kitchen section in the Dollarama that I was in. So, but they have on the back of them, uh, around the outside edge, down the two sides, they have a peel and stick, you know, peel it off like with a double-sided tape. So I got those and I am going to be putting this down a little more securely. And I got one of these, now that is a corrugated cardboard um, project poster board, the, you know, the corrugated poster board that you get for your school projects and it opens up to make a nice big stand for a display. I got that, which I can just lean it against the wall, open it up, set it up anytime I need a backdrop for a picture or something like that. And then I can take it down, put it back against the wall. So easy peasy. Um, I've got a whole bunch of now let me just adjust my camera down a little bit. Let's see. So that you can see all this. I got three of these. I think I got three of them. Yes, I did. So I got three of these boxes of nail polish. Now this is Mariposa. There were three dollars. There's six bottles of nail polish, and they're just the small bottles. But I got these colors. These colors. Look at these glitters. Oh my gosh! And it's such a fine, fine glitter. This is um, almost just like a shine. Not even. It doesn't even look like it's got pieces in it. It just glitters and then these are the plain colors and I got these three now I am going to be doing um, some gift bags so what I thought I would do is these um, these makeup and organizing bags were on sale for four dollars there I got a black and pink stripe and a black and pink polka dot I have two granddaughters that are coming up with birthdays and 
Um, they both have these little bowls on the outside of the clear packet. So what I thought I would do is open up the clear packet side, turn this into like the bottom of a gift bag and put all of the other stuff in here and do two little girl gift bags. So, well, they're not little, they're teenagers, kind of. Not One's a preteen and the other one's just a teen. So, um, I got two packages of the cotton pads. I got two of the little Dove deodorants to put in there. I got... I found these. Last week I hauled the rubbing alcohol that had the top in. Now I've been looking and looking and looking for these and they hadn't come into my store. I went to a different store and found them. So it's the nail polish remover with the no spill pump, which makes it perfect for the little um, makeup remover pads. I got an eye makeup remover with the same type, see, the same type of pump. Isn't that amazing? So that was $3. The um, nail polish remover was $4. And I don't get that because um, this, you'd think that the eye makeup remover would be more expensive than nail polish remover. So I got two of um, I got two of these, so two of these, and they're the big square block, um, seven step nail file blocks, because they're both doing their nails, and I got, well, I was sure that I got two of these, the Lori, um, the nail files are the Lori too, and I'm sure I got two of these brushes as well. One must be in one of the other bags. So the, to keep their nails clean. So that's what I got to go in their bags. Um, I think that's everything. The makeup bags, this stuff, and the stuff that I hauled at Dollar Tree, but I've already done that haul. So I'm gonna clear the table off again. And I got a few things for myself. So I want to make a little fairy garden for work. So I got this little birdhouse because I think that the birdhouse that I put in, well, Bethy painted it and put it in, but I think that the birdhouse looked really stinking cute in the little garden. So, and I'm going to make one like she did with, because we have no windows in our, um, kind of our quarters at work where our lunch room and our, our staff room and stuff is. There's no windows, we're in the basement. So I thought to cheer it up a little bit, I would make some little tabletop fairy garden and put it in there. So I picked up a few fairy garden items and I got another package of these little birds that I got before. They have the little clips. See that little clip? They have the little clips on the bottom and the little bird that I got clipped just perfectly onto the, um, onto the birdhouse when Bethy did hers. So I thought that would be cute. And they were three dollars for the little birds and I thought that was pricey um I should have waited and got those ones at um Dollar Tree but these ones had some more subtle colors I think I got the last ones at Dollar Tree and they were brighter colors and then I saw these look at these aren't they stinking adorable now yeah, all these little birds don't usually look like anything. And this is a blue jay. I mean, it's not a perfect blue jay, but it's quite distinctly a blue jay and a red cardinal. Look at how pretty that is. So, yeah, I ended up, they just kind of flew into my cart. I couldn't help it. Um, it just happened. 
And then I got some of these for my little gardens that I've already made. I think I'm going to add them right in and tuck a little mushroom in beside the plants because it's been so hot and so, so like just so hot and there's kind of a cover over top of where my plants are and they're not getting any rain. Um, the ones are outside and I have to water them every day and I come home and they're still wilted. But these have the terracotta and the bottom part here is unpainted. So water will seep through terracotta and it'll just gradually seep through and keep things moist. And they have the little hole so you can fill them. And they're $1.50. Oh, the birds were $1.50 too. But these are $1.50. So I thought I could just tuck the little um, mushrooms right in by the plants. And then I got this one as well. Isn't he cute? So I'll just shove him right down into the soil beside a plant. And then I can just, when I water, I can just fill him up with water and it'll help keep one of the plants moist. And what else did I get for the fairy gardens? Not very much. Um, I got these teeny tiny little pick butterflies, the little kind of the nylon netting over top of the wire. Cause I just thought they'd look really pretty. So that was it for the fairy gardening. And then I picked up a few craft items, just a few. And I got, this is actually for my planner. Now, this is a curtain tie back. Isn't it pretty though? This rich color. Um, so depending on how long this ribbon is, is how long um, or how I will use it in my planner. So I'm just going to take a peek. Also, there's the two tie backs and they're meant to go around a curtain or to put a curtain right in it and hold it down, I think like this. But um, for my little planner, I can just put this around the center of my planner and this will just hang out at the bottom. Isn't that pretty? It'll, it'll be just gorgeous. Now I have a nice leather planner that this will look so pretty with. So I got that and I got one more package of the butterflies, the paper butterflies, but I got these ones because they more resemble the monarch butterfly that's more popular around here. And then I was looking for ribbon and I didn't find what I was looking for, but then I found this and it's sachet metallic is what it's called. And it's different, like just different. So I'm going to pull a chunk out here and I'm going to show it to you. Now this is, look, like isn't that pretty? So this will just look so cute, tied on packages, um, used as a part of embellishments. They only had one roll and it was in this kind of um, variegated pink. You know, the uh, it just goes from the light to the dark and back again, the different shades of pink. But so, so pretty. And uh, I think I can use that in a lot of things. So that's it. That's my haul. It was huge. I spent way more money than I wanted to. But I did get um, items for birthday presents. I got stuff for the kitchen. I got stuff for the camper. I got food. I got things that my cat didn't really need. But I could. I thought she could use. Um... And I got things for the garden and crafting. And did I miss anything? I don't think so. Uh, or maybe. Um, anyway, so that's it. That's my haul. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe. And by all means, please come back and visit me again. I love having you here. Um, sharing what I do and what I've hauled and... Um, you know, just different aspects of my life is, um, it's fun for me and I love sharing my things with you. So bye bye for now, everybody. And I will see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day and please try to stay cool.